an audio issue i'm trying to edit this video and i did realize at the time that i was filming it but here we are um my smoke detector was going dead so you'll hear a periodic beeping noise um and i do apologize about that there's also another sound um my air is kicking on in the background periodically so you'll hear that as well it can get annoying so i do def deeply deeply apologize i did get it fixed but at the time of the recording of the video i didn't even notice it or i realized that it was going to be as loud because i thought i had noise cancellation but it didn't work so here we are i just wanted to give that quick disclaimer um but thank you so much for watching hey y'all hey um it's your girl kirsten i'm back with another video thank you so much for tuning in and watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoy First, I do apologize and shout out to everybody who has reached out to me and who I've seen since I posted my last video, who said they watch my stuff, they've been learning, they appreciate me, like everything. I'm sorry my hair look crazy. I am getting ready today. Uh, this is going to be hopefully a talk through video. I don't have a set agenda. I just wanted to give y'all like a quick update about where I've been, what's been going on, and like you know everything everything right now i'm getting ready for a pop-up shop so i do want to work a little quickly um because i want to get there within a certain time right now it's 11 12 i have to be there it starts at one but i want to be there so i can set up because i haven't done a pop-up shop since march yeah so it's been a while i took some time off from everything like from my business from um videos from everything um i do have some new merchandise i do have the gumdrop um what are these called the gumdrop beauty puffs not what are these called that is bad advertising gumdrop beauty puffs it is super super cute um i used all of mine i have four but, um, cause I run through these. I don't know about y'all, but I love them. I have four different colors. I have pink, orange, black, and the light gray. Um, they do come in these. Um, they are available on the website right now, right now. So y'all can run and go get that. I also have my pomades. I have, this is what the box looks like. I have three shades. I have medium brown, ebony, and dark brown. That's also available um, on the website, my brow creams. And then lastly, I have three journals coming out. This is just one of them. Oh, it's up high down. This is just one of them. I think this might be my favorite one. I do um, have another one. You might see it back there, the little pink thing. Um, this one says, brush the haters off. It's just a regular journal notebook. There's no content in it. Um, the third one, the pink one is like that as well, but the third one is going to be like a guided journal um, for like self-help, self-care, self-discovery, self-love. Um, and all of those, the journals are available on Amazon. The products will be available on Amazon super soon, but you can get the journals right now. But yeah, without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the video and just let y'all know what's been going on with me aside from that. Um, I think the last video I posted was like in May or early June, I can't even remember. I'm starting off with my e.l.f. Tripping. My e.l.f. primer. Um, before I do my makeup, this is um, always essential. I always wash my face, tone it with... So I wash my face with Dr. Bronner's The Peppermint Soap. Um, that's my favorite, like, I guess, hygiene product. Because not only can you wash your face, but you can also wash your body with it so and it feels so good i don't know about nobody else i like that cooling sensation i wasn't supposed to put this on here but yeah after i wash my face i tone my face with the um thyers rose water and then um i moisturize and i use the shea butter the raw shea butter um i want to show y'all mine but i don't want nobody to judge me because it be sitting on my thing but it looked like this the raw shea butter and then after i moisturize i um apply my primer so all of that is essential if you want like a good foundation when you can't have good makeup and your foundation is trash in my opinion but either way i start with my brows this is the brow pomade um i told you i have three shades i got glitter everywhere but three shades they look like this it is regular 
I don't know what shade I want. I want to use. So like if I'm just doing my brows for every day, I'm going to use like medium brown. But if I'm doing um like my brows for a beat, I'm going to use dark brown. Either way, I'm going in with that in dark brown and I'm going to quickly do my brows. Oh, actually, I was going to show y'all how I did them. Um, so... I am going to make an Instagram post about like how you do your brows, but I always start with a line directly. Hopefully I can zoom in so y'all can see this, but I have a line directly under my brow and then I push the brow up, up into the hair. Like I push it up into the hair. Push it up, push it up, push it up. So you don't worry about the top right now. Just push it up to make sure like the bottom is covered. And make sure I get rid of all that sparse, that sparseness. And then once I do that, I dip it back into the product. I only take a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Making sure it's like good and thin. So it's product on there, but you can't see it. So you don't need clumps of it. Um, and once I brush it, brush it up to make sure it's distributed. I um, I go over the top and I like my brows a little thicker. Hopefully you can see this. I know a lot of people, I am coming out with pencils because a lot of people prefer the pencil, but for me, I think the pomade is easier. With pencils, like you gotta worry about sharpening it or even if you got the retractable, like they don't last as long. So that's why I prefer the pomade because this is definitely gonna last me well until the end of the year. It doesn't expire um, for 12 months. So I don't have to worry about keep going out and buying pencils and I have three. So mm, yeah, it doesn't expire for like 12 months or so. Them pencils, like you run out um, at the top of the brow. I just, I'm not like adding more product. I'm just blending it in. Blending it in. Blending it in. And that's the brow. And then I go back in. Like I like it to start off light and then get darker. So if I'm doing like a nighttime beat, especially, or if I'm doing some like makeup, I will go in with a darker color toward the end or just apply a little bit more product um, to make the tail like more prominent and stand out. But yeah, so not done, done. I like a, I like a brow. Some people don't like that. I like a brow. I think it just complements the face, especially because I wear big lashes. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna talk through this one. I'm just gonna do it. the concealer brush out of the cookware 16 piece brush set um to properly conceal mine is a little dirty don't judge me um to properly conceal your eyebrows you do want to start off with a flat brush like mine is thicker at the base and then goes to like thin and um i kind of like make it a little bit more thinner here so long story short i'm taking the brows and conceal i'm going to use the la pro concealer in toffee actually i wanted to use a lighter concealer so i'm going to take i like the milani um this is a good concealer as well but it stinks it's a two-on-one concealer it's thicker it smells like factory i don't i don't think i like it i don't know what they put in it i don't like the smell it's a good concealer though so i'm gonna complain and use it at the same time but it's just the smell um, when you first take the top off, I wasn't a fan of that. So it's a lot going on. Um, I did move in May and it's different. Very, very different. 
My baby sister lives with me now, and she just turned 18 a good week ago. Literally last Saturday, I believe. No. Oh, it was last Saturday. Um, and it's different. I did her makeup. It turned out so cute. I posted a um, TikTok. But I haven't been, like, posting content for real because I feel like it gets overwhelming. And for people who are influencers, like, that is a job. I don't want nobody to act like influencing is not a job. Content creating is hard. Um, that's, that's a hard job. I'm just overlining the concealer with the top. I'm sorry. Overlining the top and I messed it up. Overlining the top of my eyebrow with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toffee. And this is a pretty good match. Like, I haven't used a concealer yet um, other than LA Pro Concealer. Even mine, like, I'm still working on the shades because I feel like if I can't match my skin shade, I like the formula, but I feel like LA Pro Concealer, they have a really, really good shade range. Like, this matches it. Like, you can see the front, but you can't see back there, and that's wild to me. This is a fluffy brush. It's tapered, though. It's, like, at an angle. I'm going to dip it into cornbread. I don't know what I'm wearing. Lord. Dip it into cornbread, put that all in my crease area, and my crease area is, like, right here, and I drag mine to, like, kind of start my contour of my nose because I have like a little socket right here and if you think about it when you contour your nose your contour is right there so mine just kind of leads to it um some people bring theirs up into their into their brow so if you like that fluffy brow effect that's how you would get it because you blend it into the front end of your eyebrow I don't do all of that because I like a um I don't even know what they call you. I guess Instagram brow. I don't know. I like a strong brow. Like, I want you to see start to finish. Other people just want it to blend all together. Which ain't nothing wrong with that, but I don't. That's not my look. I'm more of a glam in those. I'm a glam, soft glam. And other people are more of a, like, soft, soft glam. I don't want you to know I got on makeup. But that's not me. Ain't nothing wrong with it, then. Um, putting it in your thing just gives it a little bit more definition so that your brow stands out more like this looks different from that so yeah um, I don't want this video to be long but I've been talking this entire first 30 minutes I only did my brows um, as far as an update with life goes I did move into a new house um, it is technically my first time living on my own um, in my old place, I did have a roommate, um, roommates, um, but this is my first time, and granted, my little sister lives with me now, and she probably will live with me, she's one off the school in August, so, technically, I still live by myself, because she's not gonna be here, but she's gonna come back, um, in between school and everything like that, so, she lives with me, but doesn't live with me, but, Either way, this is the first time having an entire space by myself that I take care of. You know, like, I'm not sharing views with nobody. This is all me. Um, and I think it's it's really different. Um, I was prepared, but wasn't prepared, you know. But I'm so, 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 so grateful and blessed. And I work from home. So, <laughs> throughout the week, I really just be sitting. I really just be in the house sitting. Mm -mm. People be like, you be outside. No, 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 no. I don't. This is the brush I would grab if I if it wasn't dirty. This is kind of the same. Mine is a little bit more tapered, but you know, this is more fluffy. So I'm gonna take this brush and dip into hot cocoa. And since it's fluffy, it's gonna blow it out. I don't want it to. I'm gonna do another video on like how to get that super Instagram look. Cause I, I know how to do it and I've been telling y'all I don't know how, but I did somebody makeup the other day and I, I figured out the secret. Like I knew how to do it. It's all it's all like art. Um but I figured out how to do it. I'm just putting this on the tail end. I hope y'all can see that. 
Yeah. I'm putting this one like the tail in. In the back. So I'm not going all the way to the front with it. I want to keep the darkness in the back. But it's going to blow it out so you're not going to see it for real. I think um, it's all about the tools that you use to get the look that you want. You can't just use any brush if you want a specific look. And I'll be telling people, like, the brushes are important. And I'm not saying just get mine. You have to know. People are like, I want to do my makeup. But you have to know kind of. And there's no rules to makeup. I'm not saying that you have to use some people use their fingers. So, you know, you don't have to use brushes at all. But if you want a specific look, I've had people look, literally share looks with me and be like, I want my makeup to look like this. Like, you have to be willing to invest in it. Fluffy brushes are always blended out. Now, if you wanted something that's going to pack some color on, you need a flat, condensed brush. You can't use a fluffy brush because it's fluffy. So, it's, gonna, it's made to blow stuff out. It's not going to you know, put it directly on there and um, deposit that color that you, you're looking for if that's the look you're going for. Um, for an example, I'm gonna use eggnog after this. Um, I'm just gonna do like a little neutral look. I'm gonna use, I don't think I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna blend eggnog with cornbread for like a flesh tone, skin tone look. But this is just to deposit a little color. You see, just a little color, not too much, not too much. Um, I think the Instagram I look now is super blown out. So all people really do is they pack the color on their lid and then blow it out with a smoky. I mean, with a fluffy brush this is the brush in my collection i will use it's dirty so i'm not gonna use it but i have this brush that's it's flat you know and thick so if i really wanted some color <clears throat> take the end dig it in there and pack it on but that's what i'm gonna do with this brush and eggnog and cornbread so you dip it in there really really good tap off any excess and then I'm going to um, pack it in the front. You see? I dipped it back into eggnog because I think cornbread was a little too new. And there's no, like I said, there's no real rules to make up. It's really just applying it, you know? I don't want it like a little cut crease effect, but not necessarily a cut crease. something super neutral on the lid. Hopefully this look come together how I see it in my hand. I did just want to shout out to everybody who watches my videos though because I've literally in the past two months people are like when you dropping another video or can you do a video on how you do this or I like that look because you record it you know and I really appreciate that that's really motivating um I have another YouTuber friend. I've been trying to get more friends who are into the same thing as me because um, I'll be watching like YouTube a lot, a lot. And I think it's super inspiring when you see like YouTubers link up and now my lashes look crazy. When you see YouTubers link up, And they have like a content day. I do, I have the NYX Epic, um, NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm not gonna do a room. I couldn't get the top on. 
Grab it. Oh. Go. Shake it up. I know. Shake it up. Cause it's super black but i wanted one that's more matte like that drives like i like the matte look liner and no liner you know just the blue together and i can't do a wing so we just gonna get this liner Pop of pink. Hopefully you can see that. I want it like a little washer color, but not too much, you know. Um, and then I'm gonna speed through my face. I use poreless primer because I do have big pores. Like I don't worry about being oily because um, if you set your primer, I don't do it. It's still summertime, so do ease in. Um, so if you set your primer, you can um, not worry about getting oily, but. I don't set my primer because I don't care about being oily. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. This has SPF. Um, I start mixing this with all of my... I don't know why I'm shaking it up. I start mixing this in with all of my foundations. I'm just going to use this one today. Um, I didn't wet my sponge. I'm going to grab the pink one. Um, it does say cookbook. It does look a little dirty, so don't judge me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a more in-depth tutorial of like, I guess a foundation and skin, skin routine? Not skin, but you know, how to get that flawless base or whatever people be asking me. Um, I use a dry sponge, so you can wet it. I know a lot of people was wetting it, but um, I only wet it when I want to, um, I guess, add hydration to the product. But with a dry sponge, like, you can use it for, like, powder, foundation, everything, everything. You can do it wet or dry. I used to wet it, but I like the dry sponge now. You know, get your chin, make sure your neck, your earring, all of that matches because some people it's hard for them to um, know what like undertone they are. I'm a more neutral to um, what undertone am I? Yeah, I'm more like a neutral olivey undertone. So to make sure it matches everything, I blend it down. After that, I'm gonna go in with, it's a dense contour brush and my brush tool. And then I do have this new, I don't know why I have so much Milani now. Um, I have a new Milani bronzer. It looks like this is cream. Um, it's a girl on here called Yanni, Yanni Rose. She's a YouTuber. I really like how she highlights her face. Like, not highlights, contours her face. I'm not there yet. I love makeup. I like how you can transform um, transform your face. And the way, long story short, the way she contours it, she has a rounder face like I do. Um, and the way she contoured, contours hers, she looks snatched. So, uh, anyway, long story short, mine is contoured. I want to blend it out a little bit more because it's just sitting... Let me just sit there. Just a bit. And the same concealer I used to highlight my brows, and I'm putting it on my face to highlight. Yeah, 
that's how I'm probably looking today. Uh, so the trick is to the Instagram look, you let it sit. And then if you want that super highlighted, like bright under eye, the trend that's going around, you let it sit and you blend it out with a brush. I keep saying that, but I can't stress that enough. I usually use, it's a flat foundation brush. Um, in my set, and I'm gonna use it to blend it out. So like, when you blend it out with a brush, you just gotta really move it. You can brush it around, pat it, press it, and it'll blend it out. And then you can go in with whatever you use to blend out your foundation to blend out the edges. So like, it blends in. So you still gonna see it, it's gonna highlight it, so it brings it out, but it also blends in, okay? I feel like I, I be knowing what I'm doing or I want to do. It's just all about the technique. And that's what I really want to go to school for because if I'm going to be charging people money, I know some people make like $200 a face. I'm not going to be busting heads like that. But if you got a school, like you have that ability to do that because you know what you're doing. Like there's a reason your face looks so good because you can tailor it you see how the product not going nowhere? It's because I'm using a brush. Now, if I use a sponge, but to finish my thought, uh, people be charging as much as they do because they can, because they went to school, invested their time and money into perfecting their craft. And I respect it so much. I don't think I'm gonna pay $200 for no face, but you never know. If I get married one day, that would be the reason I do it. You see how highlighted that look? Like, that's what we use a sponge. I mean, no brush. But yeah, I don't think I'm going. Even if I go to school, I don't think I'm going to bust nobody's heads like that. I get it though, because you have to tailor your prices to your audience. Because if you pay $200 a head, that means you know that people don't pay that. Because you're that good. For me, I don't think. I know my audience and they not gonna pay it because I'm not gonna pay. <laughs> they not gonna pay it because I'm not gonna pay it. I put my concealer down to high. If I smile, it's it's covering my cheekbone. So to fix that, I'm going in with my sponge. I'm blending out the whole line. I'm using the part that still has the little foundation on it. It ain't have foundation on it, but So I'm going back in, no new product. I'm just um, going back in and deepening up that contour. Make sure I can still see it a little bit. I do have the contour on my nose. Um, so I'm gonna use, I have a nasal brush. It's probably dirty too. Nasal brush is it's thin tapered. Oh, this is Since it's dirty, I didn't put no product on it because I know it's enough on there. Yep. And what I was saying earlier, when I was putting cornbread down, um, I put it in my crease because I can literally go from the crease, like to do that, and come straight down into my contour, nose contour. That side versus that side. And then do the same thing, go back into the crease, and then come around and down to contour around the nose. And then I bring mine to the tip. I like the button nose effect. So I bring it down to the tip. And then I go over the top. Um, the Maybelline Fit Me. Check me out, check me out. And we still use the same sponge. The sponge is universal. I um, press that in, it's dry. I used to use a wet sponge. I'm doing the real, what is this? Um, Black Radiance. I think it's a black owned company. Black Radiance Drugstore. Um, 
I prefer drugstore makeup. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I do like some higher end makeup, but that's only because um, I can't, I'm not gonna say I can't afford it. I just don't pay for it. I feel like my, I know my target audience. I don't wanna spend all that money. Like some concealers cost like $30, $40. There's nothing wrong with it. I have used it before and it works really well, but like LA Girl Pro Concealer is $4, bro. This is a Morphe brush. I wish I knew. They came in and said I got it for my birthday a little minute ago. But yeah, long story short, um, it's, it was a full circle moment. I've been just living in the moment because this is what I'm doing right now is something that like I've always envisioned for me. Um, I've always loved makeup. I've always loved YouTube. I love what like people do on here. I love how you can learn and grow because I've definitely learned everything about makeup. Not everything, but most things about makeup from YouTube, um, from watching people and just practicing. Um, that's the face. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna add blush. I got these brushes. I'm gonna use a little bit of cranberry sauce. Oh, a lot. I did tap into cranberry sauce, but I'm gonna tap into Figgy Pudding for a softer blush look. Blush, no blush. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. I just like how you look, um, whatever it's called. And then from here, I'm gonna take a little, it's low-key a lip brush, but I'm going to go in. Ooh, I'm gonna use Holiday Punch in my inner tear duct. It's a rose gold. I used to use this as a highlight. Um, I don't think I'm a highlight today. No, I lie. I'm gonna use rose. I want it to pop. When I do pop-up shops, I usually try to match like the aesthetic of my table, my colors on of my like brand is just like, my palette dirty, that's a really bad example, but my colors for the brand is like a pink, and then it's like a, a deep, maybe brown pigments. I just dropped this, that's not it. It's a deep navy brown. Um, I can find it. I think the color, I'm gonna just use lip gloss. I'm gonna use caramel lip gloss for my collection. For my lip glaze. I'm spraying with the e.l.f. mist and set. some mascara. I'm all over the place and I wanted to do bottom lashes because I ain't did that in a minute. Um, oh, I wasn't supposed to do mascara. Oh, okay. Okay, so I prefer a a warm brown to line my lip. Oop. And that look crazy, but it's okay. Cause I'm gonna use the same, um, this is Bear It All by Wet n Wild. They sell these at Dollar General. I used to work there. 
Okay, I'm back in college. Um, but yeah, I stocked up because that was my favorite. It's like a a peachy pinky nude. I'm just trying to clean up um, around my mouth because I, I went, I ran out. I insert some clips of the pop-up shop, the setup, where I got on. Yada, 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 but I might not. So, if I don't see you all, I do appreciate y'all so, so much for still rocking with me. Thank you for all your love and support, all your encouraging words. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at the Cookbook Cause or two underscores Kirsten J. And then you can follow me on TikTok as well, two underscores Kirsten J. Um, I'm going to leave all of that in the description box. And don't forget, if you want any of these products that's mentioned, um, you can go to Cookbook cosmetics.com almost forgot the website uh yeah cookbook cosmetics.com um everything will be listed and priced i'm not gonna lie to you guys i'm gonna put it in the description box but you can go to the website and see all the prices and stuff so the journals are on amazon right now so only the journals um i'm still working on getting the products on amazon but they're gonna be on there soon um, but yeah, without further ado i do so so much appreciate y'all y'all just don't know um how much it means to me to be doing this and like thriving necessarily. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not where I was. So yeah, I do like just shout out to y'all. I'm saying one more time, shout out to y'all and love y'all. And thank you so much for watching.